Mars, the red planet. The fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system, being larger than only Mercury. Mars is a terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere, valleys, huge dust storms, deserts, large impact craters like our Moon, and polar ice caps. From Mars, the Sun looks about half its size when viewed from Mars as compared to Earth. Mars mass is 6.42 into 10 raised to 23 kilograms, about 10 times less than Earth. This affects the force of gravity. Surface gravity on Mars is 38% of Earth's gravity, so a 100-pound person on Earth would weigh 38 pounds on Mars. Mars has a diameter of 6,779 kilometers, which makes it a little more than half the diameter of Earth, and the seventh largest planet in our solar system. Mars has a surface area of 144.8 million square kilometers, which is slightly smaller than the surface area of the Pacific Ocean. With a volume of 1.6 into 10 raised to 11 cubic kilometers, Mars is larger than Mercury's volume and pretty big in general, however, it is only 15% of Earth volume. Despite Mars being just 15% the volume and 10% the mass of Earth, it actually has a similar land mass like Earth, because water covers about 70% of Earth's surface. Mars has been explored by several uncrewed spacecrafts. Mariner 4 was the first spacecraft to visit Mars. Launched by NASA on November 28, 1964, it made its closest approach to the planet on July 15, 1965. Mariner 4 detected the weak Martian radiation belt, measured at about 0.1% that of Earth, and captured the first images of another planet from deep space. Mars has two small moons named Phobos and Deimos. They are much smaller and have irregular shapes. Phobos is 22 kilometers across and Deimos is only 12 kilometers across. Both moons are covered with craters and are made of rock and iron. It is theorized that Phobos and Deimos were two asteroids which were captured by the gravity of Mars. Mars does have an atmosphere, but it is about 100 times thinner than Earth's atmosphere and it has very little oxygen. The Martian atmosphere contains about 95.3% carbon dioxide and 2.7% nitrogen, with the remainder a mixture of other gases. An astronaut on Mars would not be able to breathe in the Martian air, and would need a spacesuit with oxygen to work outdoors. And there is water on Mars, but it is frozen under the North and South Polar ice caps. The polar ice caps, which were once thought to be made up of only dry ice, are now known to have water ice beneath the top layer of dry ice. Liquid water on the surface of Mars cannot exist due to low atmospheric pressure, which is less than 1% of the atmospheric pressure on Earth, except at the lowest elevations for short periods. The planet Mars has two permanent polar ice caps. The north and south ice caps consist primarily of water ice. The volume of water ice in the south polar ice cap, if melted, would be sufficient to cover the planetary surface to a depth of 11 meters. The northern polar cap has a diameter of about 1,000 kilometers and the southern polar cap has a diameter of 350 kilometers and a thickness of 3 kilometers. Mars has a lot of flood and river channels visible on the surface suggesting that a long time ago liquid water flowed on Mars during a time when Mars was a warm and wet planet with a thicker atmosphere. Mars has the largest dust storms in the solar system, reaching speeds of over 160 km per hour. These can vary from a storm over a small area, to gigantic storms that cover the entire planet. They tend to occur when Mars is closest to the Sun, and have been shown to increase the global temperature. Mars lacks an active plate tectonic system, the geologic engine that drives our active Earth, and is also missing a planetary magnetic field. The absence of this protective barrier makes it easier for the Sun's high-energy particles to strip away the red planet's atmosphere, due to which, Mars' atmosphere is so thin. But in the ancient past, 
up until about 4.12 to 4.14 billion years ago. Mars seems to have had an inner dynamo powering a planet-wide magnetic field. What shut down the Martian dynamo? Scientists are still trying to figure out. Mars is home to the highest mountain and volcano in the entire solar system. It is called Olympus Mons, and is 21 kilometers high which makes it about three times higher than Mount Everest. In addition to being very tall, it is also very wide, about 550 kilometers wide and covers an area larger than the entire chain of Hawaiian Islands. Mars has the largest canyon in the entire solar system. It is called Vales Marineris, which means Valley of the Mariners. It is about 4,000 kilometers long, 200 kilometers wide, and about 7 kilometers deep. Vales Marineris is about as long as the United States and it covers about one-fifth the distance around Mars. And is nearly 10 times as long as Earth's Grand Canyon and 3 times deeper, making it the single largest canyon in the solar system. The planets Earth and Mars have few things in common. Both planets have roughly the same amount of land surface area, sustained polar caps, and both have a similar tilt in their rotational axes, affording each of them strong seasonal variability. Additionally, both planets present strong evidence of having undergone climate change in the past. The surface of Mars has an orange-reddish color because its soil has iron oxide or rust particles in it. The sky on Mars often appears pink or light orange because the dust in the soil is blown into Mars' thin atmosphere by winds on Mars. Of all the planets in the solar system, the seasons of Mars are the most Earth-like, due to the similar tilts of the two planets' rotational axes. Mars' axis of rotation is tilted 25.2 degrees relative to the plane of the planet's orbit around the Sun, which helps give Mars seasons similar to those on Earth. Whichever hemisphere is tilted closer to the sun experiences spring and summer, while the hemisphere tilted away gets fall and winter. The lengths of the Martian seasons are about twice those of Earth's, because Mars' greater distance from the sun, leads to the Martian year being about two Earth years long. Martian surface temperatures vary from lows of about minus 143 Celsius at the winter polar caps to highs of up to 35 Celsius in equatorial summer. The wide range in temperatures is due to the thin atmosphere which cannot store much solar heat, the low atmospheric pressure, and the low thermal inertia of Martian soil. A day on Mars is 24 hours and 37 minutes. Only a little bit longer than a day on our own planet. A year on Mars, however, is almost twice as long. Mars travels at an average speed of 86,871 km per hour in its orbit around the Sun, with an average orbital distance of 142 million miles. The planet is 1.52 times as far from the Sun as Earth, resulting in just 43% of the amount of sunlight compared to Earth. What do you think about future Mars settlements? Is Mars the best planet available for a second home for humanity?